The chemical sector is at the core of the UK's manufacturing industries, with the value of the economy expected to increase 50% by 2030 to £300 billion. The Chemistry Council was formed in 2013 to increase innovation and support the sector. Our reporter went to find out more. Innovation is an essential part of any business. For the chemical sector, it's its lifeblood. Almost every commodity in human existence involves some form of chemicals, so the industry makes a huge contribution to the economy. The formulation facility at the Centre for Process Innovation in the North East has a massive role to play. It helps academics, SMEs and large corporations develop new ideas and get them to market. The machines and robots in this lab can work with all kinds of raw materials, from skin care to cleaning products, health care to food. Every industry needs formulations. And there's even a machine for watching paint dry. We are effectively the innovation engine for the industry. So we work with all of the top companies in the industry, helping them de-risk their innovation. And it enables us to bring biology together with chemistry, together with physics, and allows companies to benefit from the wider range of knowledge that's being developed in UK universities. Since the CPI was established just 15 years ago, the UK has rapidly become a world leader in innovation. 50% of the centre's funding comes from government. Part of the role of the Chemistry Council is to ensure that doesn't change. It persuades governments to invest more in the industry, informing ministers and senior officials about where the opportunities lie. It's a very diverse industry and there's innovation in all aspects of the industry. In many ways, a lot of people see us as the industry of industries. So we, we provide products for our own needs, for our own markets, but we also supply products for lots of other markets as well, like the aerospace and the automotive industry. So we play a major role in the economy as a consequence of that. But it is a fragmented industry too, one which the Chemistry Council wants to unite. And a big part of CPI's work is to help smaller companies and academics get access to the right funding to ensure their inventions and concepts are translated into commercial products. By providing access to innovation infrastructure, expertise with technical capabilities, access to grant funding, understanding of the supply and value chains, we work with companies to minimise the risk. We can't take away the risk completely, but it's about the risk reduction. What innovation funding can do is to help kind of be a stimulus to bring together the industry, so across the whole supply chain. Perhaps they wouldn't have come together otherwise without the incentive of this funding. Often the funding says you have to collaborate. So it just gives them that little push and then together, if they're all working towards a common goal, then they're much more likely to achieve something. I think innovation is really important. It's all about kind of creating and developing and progressing new processes to industry and seeing them new processes eventually come through into industry. Establishing this culture of collaborative working, it's hoped will drive a positive future. But growth must be achieved in a sustainable way. The Chemistry Council believes that products must become more environmentally friendly and that carbon footprints must be reduced. And it wants to build a fun, stimulating industry which people are proud to work for. I want a thriving chemical industry for the UK, an industry that we're proud of, but an industry that encourages the best entrepreneurial talent to come into the industry to make world-class innovations. The UK's chemical industry is leading on innovation, but governments must continue to support that growth. The needs of society, the industry's response to those needs, and the universities are vital to solving the problems of the future in a sustainable way.